spanking new story campaign, Bowser's Fury, over the course of a few sittings. You'll have to watch the full review for my complete thoughts, but I found it extremely enjoyable. It easily stands as one of my favorite modern 3D Mario experiences. Personally, Bowser's Fury is my favorite 3D Mario since Mario 64, and it really got me thinking, why do I feel so strongly about this? Is there a reason I prefer this side game over something as massive as Odyssey? Right now. Bowser's Fury is the game of the year. I think this could be the direction that Nintendo goes in for the next big 3D Mario game. It's absolutely freaking brilliant and I honestly love it as it's nothing like you have ever experienced in a Mario game before. So I don't think we played the same game fam because in today's video I'm going to do a Mandy Rambles. I wasn't sure if I was going to do a worth the buy because it's a Wii port game kind of thingy and you know if you want to buy it, buy it. But I wanted to specifically talk about Bowser's Fury. So I'm just doing a Mandy Rambles. And why I think it should not be the future of Mario games. At least what their the whole concept is. I like certain stuff of the game. And like it's weird sitting here complaining about a free game. I have my own opinions on why... It just didn't click on me, and I feel like I'm alone in this vein. <laughs> a lot of people love Bowser's Fury, but for me, heck no. I'm just going to try to give it a more critical eye on the aspects that I think that should not ever touch a Mario game, and things that just didn't work for it, and why I specifically didn't enjoy it. But keep in mind, this is my opinion. I'm not telling you what to like or what not to like. I'm just like giving you what I think about Bowser's Fury. If you have a different take on anything I say in this video, please just leave it in the comments down below and we can discuss it and stuff like that. And I don't come from hard feelings. Like the videos I mentioned earlier, I love those YouTubers, nothing against them, but we just have different takes. That's just it. All right, so let's get started. Bowser's Fury. I will give it this. I like the rain mechanics or the physics. It looks really nice and it feels like a step up in the right directions graphically. Everything's crisp, clean. Now this is more of a subjective thing, but I don't really like all the cat kind of stuff and every enemy having cat ears. I really don't like that, but that's just design. Uh, it's not. It has nothing to do with the game. I just didn't like the whole cat motif. So a synopsis about the story of the game. I'll let Bowser Jr. take it from here. So the story is a typical Mario story, albeit a little bit too basic, you just gotta save Bowser from whatever he's doing in that black goop and help Bowser Jr. get his father back to his state of mind. I love that in the beginning they show like the footprints and then the M from Sunshine. I love Sunshine, it's my favorite 3D Mario game so I was like Gave me such feels. You do team up with Bowser Jr. and you go through these kind of little courses. I don't know what to call them. A lot of people say it feels like an open world Mario game kind of thing. It feels so disjointed. I don't know which area I'm in sometimes. And a lot of places I get lost. And it's a small place, but I still get lost. And you use um, water thing, Plethy, I think her name is, to roam around. Like, it's so weird because it feels so disjointed and it doesn't feel like a, a zone or an area. It just feels like a lot of uh, stuff randomly put together in the ocean and you got Bowser just chilling there. That's how it feels like. So I don't really like the course designs, the it just doesn't feel right and the biggest problem i have with this game is bowser himself now he's imbued with some black goop we don't know how or anything like that but it's a mario story we probably won't know how and he's very very powerful but he's very very angry hence bowser's fury and at first i thought we would subdue him and kind of like a final battle at the end 
But no, <laughs> no, I was mistaken. Bowser comes out, I think every 15 minutes when it starts raining, it's letting you know that Bowser's coming. And it's so annoying. And a lot of people give it praise for that, but I'm like, why? It's annoying. I could be platforming my booty off somewhere because these courses are not easy. And then Bowser just springs up for, for, for like, for what reason? And I would understand maybe the first few couple of minutes or hours in the game. And then as you collect cat sprites, which are, you know, shine sprites things, and you put them in the lighthouse, I thought that was to do Bowser, at least for that area. Nope. I don't know why people praise it for that. It's annoying. And what's really more annoying is that there's certain blocks or areas that are um, covered with these big silver blocks with Bowser's face in it. And the only way to break those blocks is to get Bowser to hit him with his attacks. It's extra annoying when you have to sit there and wait for him to come out. And you're probably wondering like, Mandy, why don't you just do something and come back later? I freaking get lost. And not the lost where I just don't know where to go. I probably won't remember where those blocks are or even remember the block. And also on the map, there is no way for you to um, put a placeholder or something to indicate that there was a spot that had the Bowser's blocks or something. There's nothing like that. So you just gotta keep moving forward. It's either Bowser comes out too much or Bowser is taking his damn time and I'm just sitting here and waiting. And it's just so annoying. Some people actually think it's refreshing. I'm like, it's refreshing for like two times. After that is downright stupid. Now there are some places where you could just hide and just wait till he's done doing his temper tantrum, but that's still waiting and that's still annoying. <laughs> My whole thing is it's very annoying and I just don't like the design. Now something I could say is maybe they're testing out that kind of thing and then Bowser jumping out every so often was just like um, their design idea. So the next Mario game probably won't have that idea going in there which is great and i hope like i dearly hope please don't do that but still bowser's fury's level design and like traveling with plessy and stuff I, I just don't feel an open world mario is needed not everything has to be open world like really calm down with the open world a lot of people are like open world mario woo, woo, open world pokemon yay now i want an open world pokemon that i want but not an open world mario like no <laughs> if that was a little taste of what the open worldness of a mario game is that's just like i don't think i'll like that and it could be because it's Bowser's Fury, and I'm not saying that the next Mario game is Bowser's Fury for real or something, but I just hope that they do it way better and they kind of flesh out the problems from Bowser's Fury. And I, I know it's weird complaining about a free game, but if this free game is like the basis for future Mario games, then yeah, I have a say in it. And I really don't think Mario should go open world. So there's a lot to talk about this free game within a game for the future of 3D Mario games. And looking at Bowser's Fury now, I'm kind of scared for the future, honestly. But that's just my opinion. With all that being said, if you like the video, hit that like button. And if you like my content, I would love to see more please smash that subscribe button. You will not be disappointed. You can follow me on Twitter at Plays. And like I said, if you have any points or things you want to talk about, about Bowser's Fury, please leave in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys and make some discussion about it. Because like I said, a lot of people are treating it like the future of 3D Mario games. So yeah, tell me what you guys think in the comments below. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and as always, play a good game. Peace, peace.